Meat Boy is back. Today I'm showing you guys another nutrient dense animal based recipe to show you guys how to add quality vitamins and minerals, omega fatty acids to your diet, to your family's diet. And this was actually my sister's idea. We made a raw cheese sandwich and she mentioned egg salad and the mixture of raw egg yolks and mayonnaise probably did smell and taste like an egg salad. But all egg salad is, is mayonnaise and egg. So I was like, this is so painfully simple, but hey, let's do it anyway. Let's show you guys the importance of using quality ingredients and the little details that can be helpful along the way while making this. Of course we have the eggs. These are from a local farm, corn and soy free. Hopefully we have these, you know, in Frankie's free range meat sometime late this year, early next year, but these will have to do for now. Higher in omega-3, lower in omega-6. Overall, more nutrient dense, less inflammatory, less allergens. Uh, this is the Finlandia butter we have on Frankie's free range meat. Since the egg salad is cooled, you know, this would be a better recipe to use raw butter with because the butter technically isn't getting heated. Uh, but this is what we're going to use to make the mayonnaise. And we've made mayonnaise several times on this channel. I guess if you do it with butter, it's technically a hollandaise, but you know, you could use duck fat, you could use olive oil, whatever. I just think, you know, raw butter is one of the easier and more accessible things. We have the basics of a mayonnaise here, which is vinegar, mustard, salt, and pepper. Uh, the paprika is just a little bit of seasoning that we'll put on the egg salad. Uh, nutrient wise, you know, the eggs are complete pretty much as we said. They have all the vitamins, fat soluble, water soluble, plenty of minerals, preformed omega fatty acids, and the butter is just a lot of fat soluble vitamins, a lot of calories, some calcium, possibly a little bit of K2. Over here we have a pot of water that we're bringing to a boil. For the mayonnaise, I'm going to melt this butter. Last time we didn't melt the butter, but uh, this was in the fridge, so it hasn't been sitting out of room temperature. So I do want to melt this. While that butter melts, in our blender cup for the mayonnaise, we want one egg. And you could add a yolk if you want to. Since this is an egg salad, I'm just going to use one egg. Normally, if I'm adding the mayonnaise to something and I want the mayonnaise to add nutrient density, I'll add a couple more egg yolks or maybe I'll only use egg yolks instead of an egg. I want a tablespoon of vinegar, a pinch of salt, a few cracks of pepper, most recipes call for a tablespoon of mustard, but I usually do like half a teaspoon. It's really overpowering. This is a old fashioned Dijon mustard from France. Minimal ingredients, mustard seed, vinegar, water, sea salt, natural fermentation. Uh, I like the Bragg's apple cider vinegar from the ingredient perspective and that it's raw. So we're gonna pour the melted butter in this and then just blend it. So this should emulsify very quickly. So this really emulsified and got stuck. Yep, there we go. Nice mayonnaise. Our water's boiling, so what we're gonna do is turn off the heat. We're going to put in 10 eggs. Well, I just broke an egg, so it looks like we're doing nine eggs. Now what you wanna do is you wanna cover this. Oh, wow, look. These farm eggs I got are terrible. They're all cracked. So hopefully that doesn't uh, affect the cooking too much, but we'll see. So this sits for 10 minutes, and then the eggs should be the perfect temperature for an egg salad. Normally I would only go six or seven minutes to have that nice runny yolk, but in this case we want them to be fully cooked, so about 10 minutes. So the eggs have sat for about 10 minutes, we're gonna take them off the heat. So what we're gonna do is dump out the hot water, and then run cold water over these eggs. See that? These farm eggs were all cracked. So we fill this up with cold water, the eggs will cool off, and we'll be able to peel them nice and easy. So the trick to doing these is not to make egg salad because peeling boiled eggs is a pin. <laughs> um, you kind of crack these on a flat surface until they're cracked all over. And then you can kind of use those crackings to peel it. And then once you get that like little skin layer that the shell is connected to, if you can stay with that, you're good to go. And a lot of the time I don't even like pounding all of the egg on the flat surface. I like just starting it. And then when you peel it, you can get like bigger chunks off. Any of you carnivores wanna eat my eggshell scraps? I know you guys sell that powder. So we have our eggs, mayonnaise, paprika, mustard, pepper, salt. That's everything we're gonna to need to finish this. You could add some chives or spring onions. That's all I've really seen added to this. And even then, the classic, classic egg salad recipe is still completely carnivore. Those accompaniments are optional. All right, so let's see what one of the 
whole eggs turned out like. That's pretty good. We could have let these go for a little longer actually. So I'm going to cut that half and half vertically. Then we want to do three and then dice it. The yolk's probably going to fall apart either way, but the white will stay together. Imagine Frankie on the farm making you guys egg salad. How much would we have to charge per container? Now the real key here is get a thinner, sharper knife and you won't break up the egg yolk as much as I am. That's more for presentation though. It's still going to taste the same. So we have our nine chopped up eggs. I want to take the mayonnaise and put it in a bowl so that we can season the mayonnaise instead of seasoning the egg mixture because it'll mix in better. Half a teaspoon of mustard, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika, a few more cracks of pepper, and a heavier pinch of salt. Now, put our mayonnaise in the eggs. And we're gonna fold the mayonnaise into the eggs. And we gotta be gentle because we don't wanna break up the yolks too much. That might've been a little too much mayo. You know, we did three quarters of a cup and should've done about half a cup. This is something that definitely needs to sit in the fridge, you know, for a day or two. Let the flavors meld, let it get cold. Oh, we'll get my sister to try some now. Hi, I'm here with my handsome brother, Frank. As you can tell, we do look alike, except he's the male version of me. What are we trying today, Gina? We're trying delicious egg salad. <laughs> okay, trying not to break the plate. Let's get a little. So this was her idea yesterday, so I decided to make some. Mmm. Is it as good as you envisioned? It's delicious. Mmm. That is good stuff. Does mom or dad like egg salad? I have a feeling mom doesn't. I know dad likes egg salad. I mean, what's not to like? It's it's eggs with butter and eggs on top. So, mm. really tasty, really nutritious. You know, throw this on some sourdough bread. I'm sure your kids would love this. The texture is really approachable and soft. Uh, so, thank you guys for joining me today. Let me know how you like this recipe. If you could please drop a like on the video, leave me a comment down below. And above all, please share the video on social media. This is really good. It looks so beautiful too. Mm. So we'll see you guys for tomorrow's video. Any final thoughts on the egg salad, Gina? That's the best egg salad I've ever eaten in my entire life. When was the last time you had egg salad? I don't know, it was like from a crappy like gas station or something, which that time I got sick from, so probably when not a that? good idea. Think a long while ago, think 2019. That was last year, yeah. I think it was last year or the year before that, I forget. So Gina hasn't been adhering to her diet as she so claims to be, but whatever. I, I think it was before I started the diet. They ate crappy egg salad, so yeah.